52 degrees. Not too humid. It hasn't rained that much in the past week or so, but we're gonna get out there and see what's popping. Stay tuned. Get my handy dandy grabber. Let's get to it. So as I was pulling into park, I noticed a spot just to the right of the entrance across the street where I found a ton of massive yellow Amanitas. Look just like Amanita muscaria. From what I understand, those are red with white dots. These are yellow with white dots. I just saw, I think some starting to come up. They were super big last year. So stay tuned because at the end of the video on my way out, I'm going to check those out. So here's where the path starts. Those are horse stables. Good day, horses. They trot the horses up and down this path. Unfortunately, I think we might have missed prime hunting season. It's gonna be tough with all this leaf cover, but let's check out the horse field. Don't think we're technically allowed in here. I like to at least poke my head in since it's an open field with tons of dung, both horse and geese. How cool would it be to find some psilocybes? You know, it's the Northeast, highly unlikely. Maybe some field caps, or I'm sorry, Liberty cap. Let me trot out here and see what's good. I know there's gotta be mushrooms out there, but I am not trying to catch a trespassing charge. All right, guys, I don't want to push my luck. Didn't see anything out in the horse pasture. I think what I'm gonna do is ask the owners or management if I could take a gaze. That way I don't have to worry about getting in trouble. Just tell them I'm into mycology and stuff. I wonder if people have come to them before asking if they can look for psilocybin. So stay tuned because I think I'm gonna make another video about that specifically. But for now, let's turn around and see what's good. October 17th. I believe it's right up until the frost is ideal, but with this leaf cover, it's not making it easy. Also too, guys, if you're looking to get into mushroom foraging, learn the trees. I've heard it said that mushroom hunters are by default tree experts because you're likely to find certain types of mushrooms around certain trees, certain fallen trees, dying trees, so on and so forth. So I'm gonna keep looking and hopefully something comes up. Yep, there's a little something. So that looks like a better specimen. Definitely mashed it up. Let's see if we can get a better specimen. There we go. So let's ID this guy and see what's up. Interesting. The options it gives me based on the pictures I provided. Ooh, it was just one. Yeah, it looks pretty spot on. So let's learn about this. Also known as the Autumn skull cat, extremely poisonous. Same toxins as the death cat. Cool. So guys, comment below. What type of mushroom do you think it is? As I was standing here, I noticed this guy. So let's get back there. This is one I see here, so I'm gonna be careful. Cool. So let's ID this one. It's saying. White fiber cat, inside insinuata, also a fiber cat, inside babadisca. All right, mine has a real pointy top, so let's look at that.
So guys, this is why the mushroom app is very difficult to trust. Because they all sometimes look the same. I think it's this one. All right, let's go with this one. Could be the same mushroom I found in my previous video. I don't know what spermatic so smell is. Spermatic smell. Doesn't seem good. Look what's in the background. Looks like it could be. I don't think it's this one. Definitely not. Yeah, I don't think it's this one. All right, we're gonna go with common Mycena. All right, people, so I've walked maybe a hundred, couple hundred yards further. Haven't seen much, but there is a hot spot down a little further that I had a lot of luck with about a week ago. Let's keep going and check that out. And remember, stay tuned, because at the end, on my way out of the park, I'm going to go check on those Amanitas. It's still here from last week. I'm not going to use the ID app because I know it's a stinkhorn. Still pretty cool. Comment below if you know how stinkhorns specifically spread their spores in contrast to how most, most mushrooms do. All right, here's something else. Let's pop this guy out and take a look. This guy... Looks like this one might be a common Lacaria. It's a species of deceiver, a gum tree deceiver. So it looks like it's gonna be a deceiver, which I'm not sure if I've ever located. So let's take a look. This one's gonna be the common Lacaria. So up top are my pictures, and below are those of either experts or people that have uploaded otherwise. Looks pretty similar. Gum tree deceiver. Nah, this is too dark and the stem doesn't look right. Check out the last deceiver. Check out the gills here. So I think it's like the stem is thicker on this one, but not here. Yeah, I'm going to say it's this one. There we go. Yeah, okay. Guys, comment below if you know the term for those types of gills. Ones that aren't just straight up and down next to each other. There's those kind of third gills coming out from the edge of the cap. All right, cool. So we're going to call this one a common Lacaria or Lasaria. Not sure. Either way, it's a type of deceiver. All right, guys, I'm still here looking. I just had a thought about... All right, guys, I just was thinking about those Amanitas towards the exit of the park that we're gonna check out at the end of the video, so stay tuned. I actually still have pictures of the ones I found last year within the Mushroom ID app. So we'll go ahead and take a look at that real quick. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Stay tuned and we're gonna go check out, hopefully, the same mushrooms again this year. So pretty cool, let's get back to it. There's something. What is that? like it hasn't opened yet all right let's use the id app booted night what is that shiitake no way american matsusaki what is going on let's see if it's this um i don't know that might be like mine just hasn't opened yet American Montusaki. That's looking kind of similar, guys. 
I'm going to have to go back and see if there's a different specimen that might have opened. If you find one mushroom, look closely around it. There will be more. Let's take this back. So here's... All right, there's the first specimen and here's the second. Let's take a look. Okay, let's see. So it looks like I have a button mushroom and not an exciting shiitake. Does shiitake grow in New Jersey? Does American matusake sound right? Does matusake sound right? True booted knight sound right? It's just, it's incredible. What is it? Wait. Oh, nice. There is another specimen. Insert psychedelic trippy music. Got it. All right, let's get out of here. Look at that honker. Look at that veil breaking. So it would be a massive veil. All right, let's ID this one. From the side. Top, bottom. Drum roll. True Buddha Knight. American Matusake. What is the shaggy parasol? Nah. True Buddha Knight, first find. So, that's what it is. I've definitely never found that before. Let's keep looking. All right, so I found the maybe true booted knight over there. And right here, there is something that looks like it has a saw oh, right next to it too. Then I gotta move on. Sun's going down. The pattern on the top looks very similar. So for sure, let's ID that one. Yep, true booted. Okay, so we're gonna call it a true booted night. Cool, let's keep hunting. Guys, what do you think this is? All right, guys, I'm not seeing too much more. The sun's going down. We are going to head back and finally check out those Amanitas. Stay tuned. What's up, people? I'm out here, as you know, looking for mushrooms. And what do I come across? Not another mushroom, but a fellow creator. We got, what's your name, man? What's going on? Uh, my name's Joel Cruz. On Instagram, my handle name is Rogue Photography. Uh, it's Rogue underscore photography. I'm rogue Photography, baby. Let's see that rig. What you got? Uh, it's a Nikon D70. Nice, yeah. man. Well, you're out here. He's also riding the whip, baby. Yeah. How was that with the terrain? Uh, it's, it's, it's all right. All right, yeah. guys. Let's see. I just met Joel. As Joel is a good dude. We chatted for a bit. Follow him. Like his pictures. That's what's up. What is this? It's crazy. It's got a weird structure. Psych. That's styrofoam. Stop littering. Turning around. Heading back to the car. Let's go see those Amanitas. Horses probably flushed them out. What's the pup's name? Hero. Hero? Yeah. What's up, Hero? You good boy? Get a boop? Yeah, you get a boop. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good one. We're gonna go back and pull up the date from last year, Let's see if I can find it. These are all mushrooms that I've found in the wild. Basically, New Jersey, New York, and then some from North Carolina. I actually grew this and this, where is it? Where is it? Out 
Uncle Ben Tech, baby. Yeah. All right. So let's look for those Amanitas. There we are, the Flyer Garrick. Twas these. Yep, about a year ago. Something's up there. Ah, oh, there he is. Haha, uh -huh. eating some nuts. A couple squirrels. All right, mystery solved. So having looked back at the specimen I found last year, um, fly agaric, or is it Amanita muscaria, but because mine were yellow, they were immature, and when they mature, they get that vibrant red? I don't know. The ones I found were pretty large, so I'm not sure. Yeah, interesting. Comment below if you guys know. All right, guys, so we're in the parking lot, and actually where the mushrooms are is closer to me than where my actual car is. That's clearly a conifer of some sort. And I know the Pacific Northwest is ripe with conifers, so who knows? That might be why they're growing there. All right, let's walk over. Children, always look left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Same spot as last year. So cool. So cool. You know, I'm not even gonna pick it or ID it because I'm gonna come back out here on Friday to take a look again. I was already planning on it. So let's see how big they get. So cool, guys. Oh, it looks like there was one that got munched on. All right, let's get back across the street. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Safe and sound, baby. Just walking along, fresh off of a mushroom hunt. So guys, while I'm walking back to my car, I will take this opportunity to give you an update about that Amanita muscaria patch, the yellow fly agaric. I went back yesterday, a day before I said I was gonna go back. But today's Friday, I'm not going back because yesterday, unfortunately, I don't know if someone else spotted them and plucked them. It's right on a pretty busy road. I wouldn't doubt it. So that stinks. There was one little specimen there. I decided to pluck it. Who knows? Maybe uh, squirrels ate it, chipmunks, deer. I don't know. If they did, hope they're having a good time. So let's get back to the video. I'd say that was a uh, pretty successful little forage with the Amanitas coming up, the knighted boot or whatever that was. Saw the stink corn. Stay tuned. Like and subscribe. I'll see you soon. Out. I would never eat anything I found in the wild.